This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I'm Lockout Men, and I present to you another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. We're back with a new episode of Company Calls. In this episode, we're continuing to find out their drug screening process and if they accept SAP drivers. If this is something that's interest to you, make sure you stay tuned. Martin Brower. Don't have a recruiter physically here. Um, the recruiter wouldn't contact any application uh, potential applica applicants until like they view their application and then they want to call and see if they want to get do an interview. Um, but I do. I can try to answer your questions. How much experience are you guys looking for? Uh, I think we're looking for at least a year experience of having the CDLAs. Okay, drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? That one I'm not for sure about. That's more of a uh, HR question. If you were to get hired on and get the interview improved, HR would then send you an email as far as like the background check information and then the uh, screening. I believe it's just the urine sample, but I don't think it's anything beyond like the hair. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Do we accept what again? I'm sorry. SAP drivers the drivers that are in the fmcsa's clearinghouse oh uh, that one i'm not sure but let me put you on a brief hold. let me see if i have that supervisor available and then let me see if he knows i answered that one okay okay so i just got an answer to that question about you asking about staff drivers yes ma'am um he told me no to that question Mega Trans Group. All right, so how much experience do you guys require? Uh, well, we require at least two years minimum of CDLA experience. For drug screening, what's the process? Urine or hair follicles or both? Only urine, only urine test. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Well, unfortunately, we do not. And then 89 Incorporated. How much experience do you guys require? We need at least two years of experience over the road. Which is Drug screening process? What is it, urine or hair follicles or both? Urine, only urine, no follicle or anything. I'm guessing follicles only if really something suspicious, but we don't want to, you know, uh, put our drivers through the hassle. Urine test is usually enough. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, we can accept a SAP driver if they have completed all six steps alongside their final follow-up. We run the Midwest. We do the suburbs of Chicago, St. Louis, Memphis, Kansas, Georgia, Dallas. Farthest we east that we run is PA. We drop and hook for Hershey. We deliver to Palmyra Bay for Americold. Farthest west I go is Waco, Texas. Base pay is sixty cents for all loads that are over three hundred. Anything under three hundred miles is seventy cents. In addition, there is a seven cent productivity safety bonus. You have to run 2,000 miles a week for a five-week rolling period, four cents for uh, safety, no incident, no accident, no log violation. So it brings your pay to 71 or 81. Every truck we have is a Freightliner Cascadia. Everything is automatic. Everything has a refrigerator in it. And based, we are based out of Madison, Illinois, uh, four miles from St. Louis. How much experience do you guys require? Two years. Drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? It's urine. We do it here in Granite City. We send you to Gateway. Um, orientation is three days, Monday, Tuesday, part of Wednesday, and you get assigned to your truck. You're paid $200 for orientation. In addition, there is a $50 um, food allowance that um, the hotel has breakfast. We buy lunch, and then the $50 ensures that you have money for dinner. Um, we use the Comfort Inn in Collinsville, and there is a $50 Walmart card that's given to you once you get your truck assigned. Um, and um, basically, that's it. Um, so they do orientation Monday, Tuesday, part of Wednesday. Uh, everybody meets and greets. You meet your dispatcher. Um, you meet the owner. You meet your part of the shop. Um, so everybody that works here, you will meet before you leave here and get into a truck. And then um, you're assigned a dispatcher, 
and you always have that same dispatcher. The uh, uh, We have night dispatch, and they are so we're basically 24 hours. Um, but I tell everybody, you're assigned a dispatcher, so if you have an issue at night and you tell the on-call dispatch that, hey, I need this receipt, send that to your dispatcher the next day so that there's never an issue because the night is dealing with 280 drivers. Um, so your dispatcher only has 35 drivers that they have to worry about. Um, so always tell that person. But 24 hours, you have somebody that you can get in touch with. Very good, ma'am. So do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. All right. There you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. Who's next? Next, next, next.